I'm not sure how common of a problem this is for people, but I'm going to put this out anyway because it's one of the dumbest things I've experienced as a homeowner. Fortunately, as you'll see at the end, I was able to get my peace and quiet back with very little effort. A few months ago, a bird randomly started pecking one of my living room windows. At first I thought, well, this is something I haven't seen before, why is he trying to get inside? It didn't last long and he soon flew away. Nothing happened for several days, and then he came back. At first, it was an occasional thing that would happen every few days, so it wasn't a big deal. Then it became a daily routine. Not with one bird, but multiple birds. This went on for weeks, and it even got so predictable that I stopped setting my alarm because I knew they would start pecking the glass around 7.30 every morning. And if you're working night shift hours and fell asleep a few hours earlier, that is one of the most annoying sounds to wake up to. At its worst, this nonsense would last continuously for up to four hours a day, and that's just what I saw when I was home. If you look close enough, you might be able to see some heavy scratches in the glass. If they keep it up, eventually the glass will break, so I knew I had to think of something. I later realized that the neighbors behind me installed a new birdhouse in their backyard, so at least I knew where they were coming from. Initially, I was able to scare him off by aggressively smacking the blinds. That worked for a while, but he soon realized nothing bad was going to happen and would quickly fly back. Next, I tried adding some black styrofoam cutouts so he couldn't see inside the house, because at that time I was still thinking he was trying to get inside for some reason. Well, that didn't work either, so I was able to narrow it down to one of two things. Either he sees his reflection and thinks it's an enemy bird that is trying to attack him, or he just likes the way it feels hitting the glass. The only way I would be able to hide reflections and change the surface texture of the glass was going to be by tinting the window. Originally, I was thinking about applying some 5% film, but with the right lighting conditions, you can still see inside. So I looked around on Amazon and found a roll of solid black textured static clean window film. Not only was it affordable, but the best part is it's easily removable. If you've seen my moonroof tent video, the steps for this install will be almost identical. Measure and clean the window and take your time cutting. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it will look better from the inside if sunlight is kept to a minimum around the edges. Spray the window and peel the backing from one corner. Once it's somewhat in place, remove the backing and spray the film in sections, using your hands to position the film. I'm using the same 3M rubber squeegee to smooth out air bubbles, starting from the center. From the outside, honestly I don't think it looks bad, and since this install, not once has any bird tried pecking on the glass. That's right, you stay on your side and I'll stay on mine. I'm planning on removing both of them later in the year when the weather gets cooler and I'm sure it's only going to last through a few seasons at best. So far it's been three months without any problems, although I do expect the edges to start peeling any time now since it's on the exterior. I'm just glad to have peace and quiet again and hopefully this will do the same for others. If you found this helpful, be sure to check out my tutorials playlist and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.